everyone. Um, I'm really happy to be back, my second day. And um, today I've been out shopping. I'm absolutely exhausted, but I wanted to get a lot of things to make my um, journaling junk journals that I'm going to be making. And um, so I wanted to get the things that I needed to get started and get some of these made. So um, the first things that I bought, I ordered from uh, online from Angie Bellow Paper. And that was an Etsy shop. AngieBellowPaper.etsy.com and um, I wanted some journaling cards and I couldn't understand why they were taking some um, quicker because I'm in Australia so um, but what happened instead was uh, um, when I looked uh, I'd actually ordered from New Zealand which was fine and anyway, um, they sent it and I received it yesterday and I just was wrapped at the beautiful stamps that they got put on. Because what normally happens is you go to the post office and um, they slap on a, a white piece of paper that's got some numbers written on it. And you have to ask for stamps these days. But these are absolutely beautiful and the fact that they're being made means that we can still ask for them. And I think we should. Okay, um, so I'm really pleased with that and that'll probably, those stamps will probably go into somebody's book. Um, so anyway, what I ordered from them was from jour some journaling cards. And um, the first set I got um, were red and white journaling cards and it's one set for three dollars. I think you were supposed to get fifteen in this set. Anyway that I'm not as sick as I thought they might be but um, that's no problem. They are great um, great little uh, patterns on them. Great little prints and I'm sure they'll come in very handy and it gives me um, it gives me a variety of scrapbook papers that I can do things with, even though they're only small pieces. Um, seeing I haven't been doing this, and I haven't been collecting scrapbook cards, I don't have very many, uh, very many scrapbook papers to play with. So I also got some that were um, old time theme journaling cards. And I'm sorry about the... Uh, about the shadows at the moment, it's because I haven't got my light on because um, I haven't got enough plugs. Um, so my husband's gone out and oops, actually he pinched it for the t one of the TV sets. So um, I might have to grab it back. <laughs> um, nostalgia, some cinema ones, some clock ones, some stripes. I quite like this gold one. Nice um, brown and white. I also don't have a corner cutter at the moment, so that's helped for those that's just a plain white one. Um, I don't think that's real fantastic. You know, I think if you're going to get pattern cards, you may as well get them all pattern. But anyway, apart from that, I'm really happy about how quickly they came. And the next slot that I bought were um, $6.00. And they were for 50 um, book page ephemera mixed media. And actually they're just, um, they're just paper and they're in all different languages. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to do bits and pieces with those. So that's the end of that one. So what we did today is I went to Spotlight, which is probably our main store light. You would go to Michael's or um, Joanne's. So I just think this will be really interesting for you because it'll give you an idea of what we have to pay for things here. And it really is quite astronomical. So um, I got some things on special, which I was really happy about. Um, whoops, where's the tag got it? This one. No, oh, here it is. Um, okay, so Kaiser Craft 
um, Sea Breeze journal cards. Um, they were on special because the packet, someone broke the packet, but the actual journaling cards inside are still in their um, sellotape stuff, their cellophane, so that was really good. And that was down from, it's already been on clearance I think once, $5.99. And I got it for three dollars, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, purse, uh, what do they call these? Tags. I thought they were really pretty, actually. And I mm, haven't got a price for them. Um, yeah. uh, lacy tags. They were four ninety nine. For that, I'm sure you wouldn't pay anything like that. There you are, but we have to. This I found on special, and I thought these were really cute. They were two dollars, and the other ones um, were three dollars fifty or something. So I'm happy to save any dollars that I can. This I've kept for Christmas. Um, these are stickers, Golden Heart stickers, American Crafts. And they are three ninety nine. I paid for those. It's not very many. I mean, you could just buy a glitter page for what a dollar seventy five. We pay for ours, and then um, with your cutter, you could just cut out the hearts. I did have a cutter that was exactly that size, but. Um, when we left New Zealand to come here, I had to get rid of it, so that's a shame. Um, these little Christmas handmade embellishments, says handmade, are $3.99. If I was in New Zealand, they would have cost $4.99. So, from somewhere, MY, I don't know where that is, $12.99, wow. Anyway, got those for Christmas. I'm going to start making some of these journaling books now and I will make them with a Christmas theme, I'm thinking. Here's some more Kaiser Craft um, journaling cards. These are big ones. And I suppose I suppose these were put on special because they're a bit... They've got um, sellotape put on them. They're looking a bit old, probably. They were down from $6.99 to $3.50. I don't know what the price was before that. Um, I got some, I wanted some more flat paint to do the um, outsides of the books. So they were $2.99 each. I think you get these kind of, you know, really basic um, acrylic paints for about 99 cents. So we have to pay $2.99 each. Um, yeah. And I wanted some um, glittery stuff to go around the edge of pictures and things. I'm hoping that this is the one. I used to have a big one and it lasted forever. This is called Kindy Glitz Gold and I thought it was really expensive. It's $6.99. Um, I'll just see, hope it does the job. $6.99. I'm sure that's what I used to pay for a great big one. But anyway, um, and I also wanted to buy some big scrapbook paper pads and I, I had seen them at Spotlight last week on special for um, down from, hang on just let me try and fix this so you can see a bit better. Hmm. Well, it's not working very well, I'll take that down a bit. Yeah, it's a better look. Um, and they had all the pads seem to be around about nineteen ninety five, and we normally pay twenty nine ninety five for forty eight papers. So um, you know we have to pay it. Anyway, I went in there today last week. I thought, gee, that's expensive, the nineteen ninety nine ones. But anyway, today. After I've done some research, I realised that that was quite a good price. Um, one of the websites here in Australia has got a sale on scrapbook pages, but they're, they're about 15, but they seem to be very 
old looking and I'm just worried that, you know, I would be picking up really old, out of stock papers and would be better off to pay a few more bucks and get um, newer ones. So this is 48 papers and uh, some of them look really good um, for Christmas. And so that's what I got, and I can get started on that straight away. The other one, so I paid $19.95 for this one. The other one I got, it looks like a child, a baby's one actually, a little, little boy. I didn't realise that um, until I was having a really good look through it. It's got this paper here, it's a boy, and this paper here, and this with a pram and this about birth, but I think I can use the rest um, you know like like these stripes and that, I can use those in just general um, in just the general journaling and you know even this um, gingham look so I'm quite happy with that, that was 19.95 as well um, there really wasn't, it looks like what they're actually doing is now bringing out pads with only 20 pages in them. They're absolutely out of this world, beautiful with um, florals all over them, what have you. But they're wanting just about the same amount of money for 20 pages. So I was shocked at that. We'll see what will happen as the new stock comes in. Okay, so... I actually went to a couple of second-hand places um, to get books, and this is the kind of book that I'll be that I bought to be using. Now, how lucky was I today? The um, shop that I went to, the second-hand shop, fifty percent off all books. So instead of two dollars, I only paid a dollar for that. And that, as you can see, if I hold that up, whoops, wrong way. Yeah, there. It's perfect for just gutting right down here and I'll have a really good um, excellent conditioned um, cover and I actually got four or five of those so that was good um, I got a Christmas stamp I don't have any stamps because my whole stash got thrown away well not thrown away, given away um, but this is have yourself a merry little Christmas 50 cents so I thought, yes, thank you very much. Um, this paper, not sure how much that was, but I thought, oh yeah, it's 40 cents. I think they charged me a dollar for that, I'm sure. Anyway, no worries. It's all to charity, this one. Um, three sets of scissors for a dollar fifty. And they are the ones that, um, well, these, these are actually friskers. So these are a really good, good make. Um, that's original creation, and this one's a Friskers as well. Mini pinky shears. Oh, how cute will that be? Oh, I'm wrapped. I got those down. They're a good. They were a good buy for a dollar fifty. Okay. Um, what else did I get? Okay, so I've got some books. I mean, more books. Um. I got this book here, the top one, because I thought that would make, if I gut it, it'll make a really nice little um, smaller junk journal. Um, it does look like it's had a moth or something in there eating it. But anyway, we'll be able to make it more pretty again. And this was a dollar Christmas memories. Um, so it's got some colouring pages. Um, it's got, it seems to have crafty things to do with it, and I thought I could use some of these pictures. Um, it's, oh, I like that. Um, for a dollar I thought I could do something with it anyway. Hmm, okay. Uh, I couldn't resist this. Whoops. Collins English Dictionary. It is um, old. I absolutely adore this. 
indexing system. But the cover's not really in good condition. Um, however, when I opened it up and realised that it has the most amazing, crinkly, almost bible pages. Um, I know at the moment the rage is the Tomo River paper and it feels like that. It feels absolutely amazing. So um, this was seven dollars. However, remember it's um actually she said it was seven dollars fifty. She talk about getting ripped off by the ladies at the um, lifeline shop not the life yeah, lifeline shop or book shop or whatever it was. She charged me three dollars fifty for this, half price of seven dollars. Oh yeah, well she's right. <laughs> she was right. Um, but she said this was seven dollars fifty and it wasn't. But anyway, I think that that paper will be really good. Um, in these books. I've got to just make sure it's not gonna crinkle completely. And then this was I thought a good buy at um I think it ended up costing me a dollar. And that is the whole Christmas treasury. So more Christmas stuff. Um, a quick flip through. It's got uh, music and um, Nutcracker pictures, which I think I could cut out and do things with. Um, stories. Um, it has a, yeah, it has a lot of Christmas stories. Christmas wrapping. Um, also has some craft um, ideas, some pictures in the snow, lots of pictures of children with Christmas, um, different wreaths that you can make, um, Bible stories, hanging things to hang on the trees, baubles. All sorts of things that I think I can cut out, recipes, and use in the Christmas journaling box. So I was wrapped in that, um, absolutely wrapped. And the other thing that I was quite amazed at and thrilled was this. I came across um, any of you who, I'm sure you were all into, you know, arts and crafts. Um, it's a Nick Bantock book. And it's um, it's Sabine's notebook in which there's a letter that is sent backwards and forwards, or different letters. And anyway, um, he creates pop-up books. He was born in England in 1949, and um, I was quite I was astonished by the art. And there's these envelopes in it, as you can see, which are absolutely beautiful. And they have the letters in them. Um, sorry about all the, you know, flashing out. It's, okay, so that's the last letter with this beautiful lionfish picture in it. Which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so these envelopes that are uh, all through the book are actually able to be removed, I think. Yeah, they could be removed. Unfortunately, that's white on the other side. Um, however, there's also these um, letters. Ooh. There's these um, letters, um, illustrations and artworks that could be used as well in the journals. Yeah, they're white on the other side. But throughout the book there's these envelopes and letters inside them, which I think is just lovely. And I think it's great that it's all been kept in one piece. Um, I'm not sure whether I will continue that or not. But for a dollar it was an excellent book. Um, and it was a gift to somebody. So I think that's absolutely lovely. Well, that's about all um, I've got here today. But I'm going to um, 
I have a lot of fun trying to find a place to put all this stuff and um, then to start cutting things out and, as I said, finding places to put them and then um, getting on with making these journals. Junk journals. Well, they're sort of supposed to be junk journals, but, you know, I think of junk journals as being made out of stuff that you find in the mailbox. I call that junk. Junk. Junk mail. Um, anyway... I think they'll be nicer than just junk journals myself. I'm going to make them really nice. So, thanks for watching. Oh, and please don't forget to subscribe. I'm still trying to get up to 100 people so that I can start live streaming. So, thanks very much for watching this video and bye for now.